All right, so in this problem, we're asked to add three different fractions together with different denominators. Now, in order to add fractions, we have to find the least common denominator. And to do so, I've listed the multiples of 3, 6, and 8. And I stopped once I realized that 24 is the least common denominator between all three fractions. Now, we'll use this 24 to manipulate all of our fractions. And I'll just move this out of the way so we have room to work. All right. So we'll take our first fraction, one-third, and we'll turn it into have a common denominator of 24. Now to do so, I multiplied by 8 to get from 3 to 24. Now if I multiply the denominator by 8, I'll multiply the numerator by 8, and I'll get 8 over 24. So our next fraction is 1 sixth. To get 6 to turn into 24, we multiply by 4. And if we multiply the numerator by 4, we have to, uh, the denominator by 4, we'll also have to multiply the numerator by 4, and we'll get 4 over 24. Now our last fraction, 1 eighth. To get it to turn into 24, we multiply by 3. If I multiply the denominator by 3, I multiply the numerator by 3, and we get 3 over 24. Now we are ready to add all of our fractions together. We have 8 over 24 plus 4 over 24 plus 3 over 24. Now it's just simple addition. 8 plus 4 plus 3 will give us 15 over 24. Now this fraction isn't in its quite simple, simplest form. So we have to find a number that is divisible by evenly by 15 and by 24. Now the number that we'll divide by is 3 because 3 divided by 15 will give us 5 and 24 divided by 3 will give us 8. So 5 eighths is our final and most simplest form of the answer.